Hi guys, guys, my name is Ayan Pacheco. Uh, I'm gonna do the, this first reaction of my own video that was made eight years ago. It's called All to All Tribute to Fake Makers. Um, it was supposed to say O, but it says N1. Uh, I misspelled O with one. And it's really fucked up. I just really fucked up. Dude. So, um, I guess I was not good in English. But, uh, this tribute was made eight years ago. But I'm doing this, I edited this video to make another video that is blurred because some of this were blurred. I, I, I got to discuss with you on this video why I did it. And it's dealing with my problems with high school. I have no my own problems. I have problems with high school being this dictator or some kind of fucking... North Korea, Korea or something, something like, like that shit. shit. And it, it happens, happens in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. It happens nowhere in the world, world but in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. And um, we'll explain what that what I'm talking about it, in this video. Let me just go and um, try go to YouTube now and play the video. Okay, the song, the title is supposed to say Ode, O-D-E, slash tribute to Frank Douchebag Mickens. He is a douchebag. Really, he is a douchebag. Fucking douchebag. Anyway. And that's him, a couple of years ago. This is the old picture of his, this douchebag. Hell, I went to school here in 97, 2001. The words in the red, um, saying that Frank Mickens is a douchebag. This moron who kicked me out of Boys and Girls High School on April 16, 2001. That's the first thing. That is true. And I'm going to, the second one, I'm going to explain why. That's a school in Boys and Girls High School. That is Boys and Girls High School in Brooklyn. I attended that school in 97. Of September to April of 2001. I didn't graduate. Because, as you know, I got kicked out of high school from what they say that I was threatening people or, I, or threatening somebody. That's not true. I have never threatened anyone my entire life. They threatened me. They threatened me. I have never threatened anyone. And this is the reason. I'm going to read what's in the black. I was one of your students from September of 97 to April of 2001. I was supposed to graduate in 2001. What a waste. Wow. Thank you, Tosa Doom, for that quote. <laughs> what a waste. Before this, um, the background music, I've been listening to Tool. Hell, I'm, I'm a Tool fan. I, I've been listening to Tool. And I think it was the one from Stinkfish, Edema. Edema, what was the time? Uh, 
soundtrack was. I think it was a Adina something. If you have Stinkfist H um, 462 that CD, it's Tool, the band. That's where that music comes from. I think it was uh, before Hook It With a Penis. Yeah, that's that's what you hear in the music. Now this scene. This is one of my drawings. I blurred that part of the version of this drawing because it was too graphic and too showing. Uh, this is what they kicked me out for. They kicked me out of high school for this. Not just one. I made lots of these things. This is way before Columbine. I, Columbine got... What was it? 21 years ago now? And... It's so fucking stupid. You know, I, I've seen here... Going back 21 years as a kid, 1999, I will be 16 years old right now. Two white kids killing 16 people, which I don't give a fuck. This is happening in Colorado. Why the fuck you bring this shit all the way to Brooklyn? This. Nightmare shit. This was some happy and regional, and he brought it in, into New York City. Nine Eleven is the most important tragedy, but it. This is before Nine Eleven. But. Okay, Nine Eleven happened in two thousand one. I got kicked out. April of 16th of 2001 this is before 9-11 so what's the first before April 16th 2001 uh, two years ago to Columbine that shit you massacred and people blaming the media not the news media, but the entertainment industry. They play, play Marilyn Manson, uh, Tool, the, this band, or anyone who's like doing, well, I think you call it art. I call it art. Um, this. This is art. I want to be an artist. I, I love just doing this. I love doing this. I do this in school, and now they they talking to people who love drawing these in high school. What a bunch of fucking niggers! What kind of niggers are they? Bunch of stupid fucking niggers. The black thing says, you accuse me of false statements that have threatened kids with battle plans and shit. I didn't. But I still be accused of. To this day, I, I still be accused of. No apologies. This is the second one. I didn't blur it. There's no patching of. <laughs> um, this is DW. Off again, trouble and stuff. I I'll explain the drawings later in this um, video. Some are graphics, some are stuff. YouTube don't allow it, blah, blah, blah. we get to that shit later. Um, the, the title reads. But what I did was join these pictures for free speech. That is my goal. All my life, that is my goal. 
and you sit here, dog myself, dog yourself. Why do you accuse me of something I didn't do? And it has to do with my drawings. Uh, do I make battle plans or this kind of art? Who's stupid enough to make battle plans to block a school? Uh, plans or anything. I'm just don't care what drawing these. Drawing this for, for, for a living. Hell, I love doing drawing arts. I'm not good at it, but now I, I want to go back to drawing like these. And you motherfuckers don't let me. That's disrespectful and dis disgrace. Shame on you now. And this is what I said to Frank Mittens. He's dead. I said here in this segment, um, how fucking dare you for kicking me out for no reason and why? Thank God my mom put your name in the book of Revelations. Christian Bible. Punish me, you pun you get be punished by yourself. My own actions. Dare to crush me and dare to touch me, dare to punish me. You will get you will you will be be punished by your from your actions. And no God will save you. Shame on you motherfuckers. I swear to God, if you cross on me, you will be wrapped by God. Okay, this is uh, I'm not just drawing instead of Hori <laughs> Oreo, I like that one I have there. It's Horio, Horio. I'll promise you I get get to these drawings, and I'm starting to do new ones. With that new computer uh, thingy that can do digital art. It's right back there. It's, it's digital art. You see them in the ones in the future. Um, personally, this is where it gets all fucked up in my life. I have suffered by the school with these lies and filths from your school officials. Freight makings, school officials, students were responsible for my downfall. They were so fucking dumb. But no, they, they, they ruined my life and my mother's life and anybody in my family's life. You don't go to that school get kicked out like that. Oh, this is my favorite one here. Um, no nudity, no nothing. Um, this is supposed to be me. <laughs> Grinning and smile, smile like this. But I'm actually angry inside, angry and grieving. I don't, I don't know what you call that. <laughs> but that's me angry and smiling. But definitely angry. Um, and this is, I did. This is like a state quarters, and you can put a face of state quarter. You put George Washington state quarters in, and shit, and put the outside with um, whatever you want, like a quarter. You put a stuff that represents the state, and you put another face with George Washington. I did this. Um, drawing. Well, the, the t 
Tyler D. Jordan says here, the event which I got, I was kicked out of high school for drawing shit like this crap. I can see it as me getting angry. Somebody kicked my ass out. Somebody kicked my ass. Out there, which means school kicked me out. And they kicked me out for no reason. I fall. And there goes my diploma. The next in this text says, You put me in that fucking crazy house, St. Vincent's Hospital. Yes, I went to that damn hospital. By force. I wish I shouldn't sign that papers. I wish I did. I didn't even do what the hell I signed. 20 days I served in that crappy hospital. That's a big fucking waste of time, waste of excuse. I don't guess I didn't want the damn diploma. That's going anyway. I couldn't go out of schools, but. As you know, I was 18 at that time, so. Technically, either you go to a damn. fucking. Military service or get a GED. I pick and choose GED. I, I had no. Had no. No, I have no um the most thing to say to before to go to high school anymore. I have to say nothing. Mm -hmm. And if GED was worse, I'll tell you about why I from. 2001 to 2006, uh, GED was uh, started to change for some reason. I'll explain that later. And Chris Roll, you put me in that fucking crazy house, safe business hospital. That's what Roll. Second segment, um, I am lucky to show these pictures because I like to draw naked and violent ones. Free speech. This represents PBS. I think in 2005, PBS used to allow nudity, but they don't anymore. Eight late nights. They used to air Mighty Pythons, good show. Um, British TV series like Masterpiece Dealer, mostly Mo Flanders. I explained that when I explained the drawings that day. And this is DW and. Um, Emily, I did a different thing in this uh, drawing, which is digital art, and this is different. This is an old original thing. It was not made in 2001. Something was made in 2001. I keep drawing from that time area, but I did this redone in digital art. And I'll show it to you later. And this is here. Um, this text says, I didn't get laid or have a job for 11 years because of you. Dead fuck. Thank the Lord that you've gone already. Your first child now. Now you. Then, what happens is after, uh, 2001, I got kicked out and never returned to school again. Two years later, Mickens was fired or he quit or he retired in, in 2003 that's the first day six years later uh, as I finally remember my aunt called me this one of those cell phones old ones um, in 2009 he just dropped dead 
literally drop dead. Make us drop dead. And there was a newspaper about it. I, and I don't know about a fucking day news. I don't hit this motherfucker, but shit. Fuck them. Hallelujah. I hope you spend your relationship with the devil. He is waiting for your black ass to fuck with. Let me read this again. I hope you spend your relationships with the devil. Uh, he is waiting for your fine, for a fine black ass to fuck with. And this um, picture here is about Cracker Jacks. <laughs> Show to you. I'm gonna make a video about my drawings, huh? Oh, this is one. <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh man, I hope I see me how you douchebag. This is an old, very old thing. They got a picture of this. This is very old. <laughs> You'd be punished for that. This is the end of the dedication. Um, this is dedicated to me only. It has my mother up there. I'm not bleeding them out. You're a student. You're a hateful student. By the way, this is dedicated to me. Me. You're a hateful student. And sponsor is my mother. That, that's what I'm gonna put. Fuck you, make it. Fuck you. And this is the old Frank Mickens. His birth and his death is damn. Thank God for going. Frank Douchebag Mickens, 1946 to 2009. And that's me saying fuck you. And there's my credits, drawings by me, everything by me. <laughs> Wait, before. <laughs> Dad case with support. We inspired God, how to stir about buoy, etc. Please email me with all the questions. Thank you, partnership for IAP. My initials company is my dick in your mouth corporation. Thank you, partnership from IAP company. Me. And is my dick in your mouth corporation. <laughs> is my dick in your mouth corporation. I made it up. I okay, to end this, um look. I grew up in Brooklyn for more than like 37, 38 years. And I've been bullied and humiliated since elementary school. I've been to more elementary schools than high school. I stopped being that thing I was stupid at, 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 when I was in fourth grade. I had to repeat in fourth grade. Um, still schools before my time were fucked up. It, it, Still acting up, I have bad communication with uh, principals, parents, uh, other parents, teachers. Uh, they work hard in, in this whole fucking world in the 90s. And, and it mostly was it's the students, the kids, that honestly don't like being told what to do. You, you raised your kids in the 90s, they acting so stupid, act they fucked up. And you constantly, your kid going to end up being uh, shot dead, 
or getting rested mostly. Live. I live through the twenty from ninety one till now. Mostly twenty nine years. I was eight years old when Rodney King was beaten. A lot of black kids were very angry about that. Two years later, um, uh, uh, I was a kid back then. That I was a uh, how many eight or nine years old? I was born in eighty two. Eight or nine years old, I heard about Rodney King beating or something like that. Two years later, um, we have the Crown Heights uh, riots. I watched the Crown Heights riots during a some kind of documentary film. I don't know what, what it was. It was about the Crown Heights riots. In '93, about the death of an eight-year-old boy, you know the rest. Yeah. Um, and we have Mayor Rudolph Giuliani that that day, which I didn't vote or anything because I was that kid at the time. A lot of damn white folks voted for him and all that shit. He's not good. He's not a good man. I can't deal with it because I was a kid back then. I had to wait till 2001. He was there for two terms. Then you got Mike Bloomberg. Um, nothing wrong with him, no, or anything like that. When your kid goes to a high school, matter of fact, when your child goes to a high school and they can, not a parent, the school official, told you this kid does bad things or does harmful things to other kids and all that shit. And you and parents saying, what the fuck you mean by that? My kid didn't do shit. So I'm, I'm listening to my kid while I'm listening to your motherfucking asses. You're a parent. Talking to a, a school official who said, look, your kid is a dumb kid or he's been acting up and threatening students and all that book shit. And apparently, many people listen to these people, not even your child. That's what happened to my mom and what happens to me. But we were these people who don't listen to anyone. Because somebody is attacking my kid over these lies and bullshit for nothing. Anyway, um, I, I got close up anyway. This is like taking too long. My, hopefully you can say, my last two, look, if you're a kid, some like in trouble or stuff like that. Don't, don't, don't try not to be responsible for your child. If he acts up and stupid, do that thing to school badly. Don't um, say, look, I know my kid act up. I have no responsibility for him or shit like that. That's not asking you to look. He needs to get to school. That's the only way he stop being acting up. Just get to school. He basically, had have a problem. My kid, with, if I have kids, I, I don't look. My kid need to go to school, not stay in the home school or not no sent no teachers or anything. Don't, because we never want to put children into home schools. Or force being in home school at all. I don't want to go to home school. I don't want no kid goes to home school. My kid supposed to be going in traditional schools, period. And if the traditional schools don't want to take care of my kid, then I trusted him somewhere else. 
if this happened the same time, uh, three times uh, with the other schools, then my kid has a problem. He either go to the, join the military service or the get a GED. My first to you, my advice to you is don't let your kids go wild on something and start to stop listening to these other people what they say about your kid. If your kid had mental problems at all. I'm sorry, but that's the way it works. You can't just blame on your kid uh, every day. He has mental problems. God made him that way. I'm sorry that you people had mentally ill kids, and you try to bring doctors involved. This you cost a lot of money to bring doctors to helping your kid for what? My kid had uh, schizophrenia. My kid has uh, all mental illness, or my kid has facial problems with Down syndrome, all that kind of shit. There's nothing you can do. You can't fix a kid that you raised, you gave birth to. You can't fix him nothing. If your kid, uh, being a, an asshole in school. And the school officials want you to deal something about it. You just ignore you know it. And it keeps going on and on and on. You had to do something to send your kid to a turn to school. Teaches the matters. I, I'm not telling you your child every day. I just want to give advice. So something these bad things happen to me, but will have will have bad things happen to you. That's just it. What I did was made a revenge video, not a damn hateful, hateful guff. Well, the man who is, is, is that I hate the most is dead by his own actions, not by mine. He chose to draw me out of high school for no reason. And school officials made these choices without my representation. You use my drawings to think that these were battle plans. Come to find out, it, they were not. They weren't involved in no school killings, school shootings, or what the fuck ever. They were just imaginary things. I create things, I, I do graphic novels, I do talk about shit like that, so that's, that's who I am, basically. My kid doesn't speak, uh, my, my kid is actually me, because I don't have no children yet, or anything like that, still can't find a woman yet, so that's hard to find now, these days. My child can't speak proper English. Blah blah blah. Fuck English, man. I was born and raised in the streets. Don't need it. Child can't get a good edu uh not education. Good welfare. What do I need this for to get a job or get anything? my life. Nothing. I can try to find a job, but I don't know how, how much worse is going to be. Get a job so you can get discriminated again or get, get, go back to school. What's my options? I, I could go back to school, get humiliated again, get up. That's just, I can get a job. With no experience, with no education, experience, no, no nothing, still getting humiliated. I got no options. I, I just lost tons of my brain matter to this crap for tw tw uh, 
19 to 20 years. Uh, can't do nothing about it. You took everything that I tried to build. Try to get a job, got everything. You took Mickens and the school officials took that away from that. <laughs> when you and didn't recover from it, um, if you took something like education away from me, put me in a mental hospital, and never apologized for anything, saying that I was the culprit of a bit, what do you think I did, will do? Saying. This is why I hate high school. Because you draw kids out. And my parents won't tell me to send me a note because we found out that you're lying. It's sad because. I can move, it. move this for my. It's sad because I. didn't have a proper education for, me for the last 20 years, for the last 20 years, um, 19 years for me in 2001, probably 19 years. Uh, all I did was try to learn. I, I tried. I flunk in English. I fuck science. I do good math. And for in high school and not from all that combine bullshit you decide to accuse me of something that doesn't exist that's that's what the fuck is wrong with you wrong with Mickens and the school officials in Boys and Girls High School. I can't imagine what the world was now for 20 years when 9 11 happened and after it towards all. Well, I guess hope for the best. If something will happen around the world if something really bad happens around anywhere around the world that is not my doing for example I, I'll do it short if you accuse me of something I didn't not do or you must be drunk as fucking hell. Excuse me. I know it's getting dark, but I'm not gonna turn on the light. That light. Um, it's hard to see me, but it's getting dark as soon as the light comes out. See, I'm not gonna turn that back light. Cause that. Light doesn't mean anything to me. It's just that I'm just angry at people who hurt me the most. Yes, it's, it's my family who hurts me the most for not treat me as an adult. I am an adult. I'm a man who still lives in my mom's house. I didn't give a fuck. I spent a lot of money. I spent the most, all the Stamina's check, the first stamina's check. And I spent it. I'm a gambler, I, I have no respect for it. Oh, look at all of this. I, I didn't spend it for a house rent, or I didn't have a house payment, no home payment. I'm still, I'm turning 38 in three months. 38. When you turn your back on a student who's trying to get his life together, who's trying to graduate, who's trying to over a misguided person like Mickens. Yes, he, he is misguided. 
if he was alive today, but he he is. If any school official who is dead or who is alive, it might sound like a. I'm not letting. What I'm trying to say is, if somebody who's who's so willing to kick you out of high school, and it's not your family, just they care about you. If you found something suspicious about it, which I did, I found it suspicious. Um, I I would do a short telling you this I'm not gonna go not gonna waste my time it's about 40 about less than more than 40 minutes so I'm gonna do a short I got accused of something that I didn't do that was made up made up school officials in my school use that information And conducting with their um, ideology or whatever the fuck that is, with their own sense of mind or whatever thought they have. And this has come from the students with the rumors and all that shit. Use that information, conjure it up, condemn me for something that. Wasn't aware of. They give me a choice. That was not me with my mom. They give me a choice about her being a mental hospital or getting expelled from school. I chose to go to the mental hospital. Bad mistake. I stuck in that mental hospital for 20 days. The mental hospital reported that I have schizophrenia. I don't. I act up. Ever. This is between the school officials, the principal, and the hospital. Whoever told that bullshit story, whoever made this this fucking decision, and you believe me, I tried to sue the hospital. It fell. I wish I would continue. If I would continue to sue them, and I failed, and my mom's a complete failure. My, I know my mom's weakness. She's failed to everything. I could have been there for 60 days. I've been there for 20 days. That's stupid rules. After that, April 26, I know the woman who come out and tell us, Miss Cheryl Lewis told me I cannot go back to school because I have schizophrenia. That's one thing. Second thing, I'm supposed to be in homeschool. They're gonna send me a teacher at my sister's apartment. A stranger. You don't know who he is or who he is, he is from. My mom doesn't accept this. I don't accept this. Not any one of my nieces and nephews who were in that time and not teenagers won't accept this. We don't want strangers to come to our house, period. Now, this is before my sister lived in Brooklyn. I'm damn sure not put somebody in her, uh, in her sister's house. My goal is to be in that school and learn. Sometimes I drew pictures at school. I just that was my prime 
quiet time. This is before Columbine. Well, Columbine started this. Two years later, my ass got kicked out of high school. Yada yada yada. Got expelled. Black. 9-11. Can somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? If you went to school that I did in my entire life, who in the hell would tell the dean, the guidance counselor, the principal, the anyone? Who in the fucking hell would tell these people? I know there were students. I showed them my pictures like those above them. Uh, I'll talk to those later. later. Or something before 2001. Uh, as you know, I was robbed in 2000. I wasn't here. I was robbed in 2000 in October. A week after my birthday. They might have told them. My mom's enemies who were the hell they were. Must have told them. Know my school and tell them themselves. I don't know. But I can tell you this. Is there a future me who got kicked out of high school for no reason to suffer for more than 19 years or less deal with this shit? And if so, just go ahead and rub uh, made a story about yourself. That's what I'm doing. I, I can't sit here and be uh, a fucking failure. I'm not. And before I go, I will say one thing to uh, um, a different matter. And this is something to do with the George Ford and all that. These guys, um, should worry about the future and what instead of the past. And I'm not for the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm not for them. What it did, New York City. Matter of fact, if I wish I, this is during the pandemic area. I, I, I can't explain it. I explained to another video, but uh, Black Lives Matter, all this garbage they, they said. My, there was this, there's so many points, a, 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 a fucking chokehold or a, somebody, a white, it's supposed to be a, when somebody puts a chokehold or a kneel to a man or woman. That's just it. When you choking a woman or using knee, this knee choking woman like that, that was the whole fucking reason to get upset for. Now, this is something new. A white cop and a black dude who are both men and they suffered. I don't, no, 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 no. I explain to not feel Black Lives Matter, but what I'm gonna say is this, and this is my fuck duff for today. Um, I hope you're watching. Please don't quit on school. I quit on school because after all this, Accusations against me, I stopped was going to school. I, I'm never go back. Never gonna go back to school again. I'm never go learn something when you people accuse me of this bullshit. I had enough with 
the school officials, I have not for the board of the Department of Education. Because they didn't trust you in anything, they don't trust no one. And that, yeah, I'm sure they didn't trust any student who lives do this nightmare. And that's my final call on that. I'm sick and tired of being uh, talking to you about my life, about my educate, about the school and all that stuff like that. It, it still bothers me, and I want revenge for it. I can't let it go away. It can't be taken away. The humility, the thing that stuff for 19 years, still fucking exists. It won't. It will never go away. I'll be back for another video, and I'll talk about the the what is going on now, the coronavirus, and probably the George Ford thing, probably shit things. I what I thought about Black Lives Matter. But I'm talking about myself, and I wish people on should understand that I didn't. Went to no hospital by myself. I didn't want to go to no hospital, mental health hospital. I don't want any child to go to mental health hospital because of this school that you attend with. Try to tell you, force you to go. In. That's who I did not want you to go do this. You can draw everything you want. You can draw uh, something in porn, something in uh, violent things. It just ain't real it's not real it's something you made up you only you want to draw whatever you want to draw it don't have to have a meaning it just doesn't make any sense that you get punished for it that's why I made this video uh, eight years ago for not particular reason I'm gonna sign off Well, calm down with my head. It's been, I, I've been never talked for about a year or so. Because I really was pissed off about my life and my education and stuff. It's getting dark. Literally. Um, I hope you take care and God bless. Thank you for watching this film. I hope YouTube would not delete my stuff because I never run or say anything with my ass or anything like demeaning all that garbage. I wish they would sure understand my feelings. Thank you very much.